Hey Saints, I'm going to talk to you about something that's a relationship topic. Um, again, I don't do very many videos like this, as you can all see with the topics on my channel, but I had an email from a brother in Christ. I've talked to you about long distance relationships before, and he's in one. He has a young lady girlfriend that lives in Germany, and um, before I spoke with him, I prayed to the Lord about this. I even looked at other testimonies on YouTube about couples that are long distance and meeting each other for the first time and why they choose long distance versus having a partner, you know, a husband, wife, or a significant other here. Significant other meaning do not live together, do not fornicate. So, um, the reason why I was researching a topic is because he told me that his family and friends gives him grief, so to speak, about being in a long distance relationship. And he wants to know how he can politely ask them to please stop making comments like that because it's offensive to him. Okay, this brother's name is Jared. I'm not going to give you his last name. He gave me permission to give you his first name. And again, this does not only apply to him. This is going to apply across the board to other brothers and sisters that may be in the same predicament. Okay, if you're in a long distance relationship, and your friends or family members ask you about your significant other, you're going to face ridicule, the old myths that long distance relationships will not work, um, that it's doomed to fail, you know, that there's always problems, that the long distance itself will kill the relationship. I'm here to tell you people something, okay? Do you know that couples that live together under the same house I mean husband and wife, or even couples that are dating and see each other regularly, have more problems and worse problems than couples that are long distance. Because when you're in a long distance relationship, every moment that you see each other counts. Every second is like a gift for you both. It counts. The time is precious, so you appreciate each other more and you grow more and more close. Until that day that you physically meet, all that love starts pouring out. You can agree or disagree. You can tell if a significant other is for you based on how you guys get along in your chats, in your Skype, in your emails, and so forth. You can tell like what it's going to be a prerequisite from when you physically meet. People say, oh, being on Skype and physically meeting is not the same. I disagree because when you're seeing them on Skype, it's like you're physically meeting them because they're seeing you in front of a camera live based on what you really look like and you're seeing them except you're not in the same room okay so the problems that couples have is it doesn't have to do with distance it has to do with the couples involved you see a relationship takes commitment it takes work it takes a lot of communication trusting one another loving one another supporting one another not letting any excuse the expression, bull crap, your family or friends feed you, their lies um, influence your relationship. They have nothing better to do. If you have your family members or your friends commenting on your long distance relationship, it's because they can't mind their business, that they have to stick their nose in yours because they're miserable in their own relationships. And you know, I found that to be the case many times. Do you know that the divorce rate in the United States is over 50%? Do you know that the majority of those couples, like I would say 99% of them, live under the same roof? So that is proof that long distance is not a barrier. If anything, it could bring you close together. I told you before that long distance is a temp should be a temporary measure. It's not something you should do for years, two years. It should be, in my opinion, a year tops six months, a year, a year's good. And then you make that game plan if you're gonna move to him or she's gonna move to you or vice versa. 
But don't let anybody else influence your relationship. If you're happy with that person, God brought that person in your life for a reason. If God brought that person in your life for a reason, he ordained that union. He's going to make sure that you two end up together under the same roof. Remember the Bible says, when God unites two souls, a man and woman, they become one, they become one, man and woman become one, one flesh, a godly marriage. The long distance doesn't have to be difficult or tough. You're going to find love and where you find love that's ordained by God is going to be where you least expect it. It could be a person in your neighborhood or in another country. Do not let anybody influence your relationship. If that person makes you happy and you know it, you see where it goes and God will lead the way. My opinion is don't even care what anybody thinks because if they're going to be sticking their nose in your relationship, that means that they have nothing else better to do. That means that they're not happy at home, that their relationship's messed up, so they have to come and try to mess up yours. There's always a stigmatism, a stigmatism about long distance relationships. When long distance couples I know are the happiest I've ever seen. I have co-workers at work. I have one young lady, her husband's in the military. Another one, her fiance lives in Germany. And she is the happiest person I've ever seen. Ever. So before you people start judging about long distance relationships, take a look at your home. Take a look in your home and check your relationship first. This is not to all of you. This is to those that like to come up against people that are in a long distance relationship. That's their business. They made the choice. If you feel they're making a mistake, let them learn on their own. It's not the distance that makes the relationship a positive or a negative one. It is the two people involved. Because the, the longest, uh, a, couple, a couple that is, a couple, let me rephrase that. The problems a couple has, it doesn't make a difference if you're long distance or not. Any couple can break up. There are problems between couples whether you are long distance or living under the same roof. But there's more problems with couples living under the same roof than long distance. I find, based on my research and research led by the Holy Spirit, that long distance couples are more happier than couples living under their own roof. And I'm going to take a step further. Current couples that are living under their own roof, the few that are happy, were once in a long distance relationship with each other and they made it work and then they ended up living under the same roof and they're happy those are the few couples that, that, that live under the same roof that are happy is because they came out of a long distance relationship you can agree or disagree but that's what I found out every time I go to work I see my co-workers telling me oh they're falling for divorce or he left or she left there's always couples that live together, majority of them that have problems. But the few, like I said, that are happy, those couples came out of a long distance relationship. So you can't sit here and say that long distance relationships are a bad omen because they're not. It's what you two make of it. If you two are determined to work it out, God will find a way. He always does. And I believe that, from the very bottom of my heart, I believe, Jared, that Jesus Christ will find a way for you. And this is for any brother or sister going through this. The Lord will find a way. He will lead you two together under the same roof. You have to have faith. It will happen. With that being said, Jared, and anyone in this situation, if you have somebody making comments at you, this is what you say. You need to mind your business and check your relationship before you start talking about anybody else's relationship. Because if you're all in my business, your nose is all in my business, and you're commenting on my relationship, that means that your relationship at home is not happy. I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, you do that, you're going to shut that person up. They will never make any negative comment about your relationship again. And don't care what people think. Only do you care what makes 
You can care about your brothers and sisters in Christ and help them out. Okay? But don't care about what anybody thinks. You only care about the approval of Jesus Christ and what he thinks. If that person is somebody that you love from the inside and you can't explain it, that's because God brought that person in your life for a reason. Don't give up on that because it's a rare thing to find somebody you can truly connect with. But the saying goes, you have to go, you have to go through many frogs, kiss many frogs to get through your prince. For the gentleman. You have to kiss many female frogs to find your princess. Think about that. 